Welcome back to CS125. Today we begin our exploration of decision making, how computers make decisions and how we can use those decisions in our programs. So if one thing is true, do something. If it's not true, do something else. So there's really two parts of that. First of all, we have to talk about how we express truth or decision making within our program. And we refer to those as conditional expressions. So that's the first half of today's lesson. The second half looks at how we use the result of those expressions, true or false, a Boolean value, to determine what the program does. And this is the beginning of all of the interesting things that your computer can do. So, you know, obviously every time you use your computer, it doesn't do the same thing. It's making decisions based on your behavior. And the basic building blocks that we're going to learn today are the foundation for everything else that computers can do. One thing I want to remind you of today is that, you know, we're just getting started with this. This is a long journey. It's a marathon, not a sprint, but you do a little bit every day. The daily work works, but you have to do it. If you do it, if you do that little bit every day, and if you use all of the amazing resources that we put at your disposal, whether it's the lesson materials, the course staff, your best resource, all of the daily programming that we're doing, you will succeed. And I want that for all of you. I really do. I want you here in December. It would make, you know, the thing that would make my entire semester is if all of you were still here in the middle of December when we wrap up this class. And you'll be amazed at that point at the type of things that you're able to do with computers and program. And you can get there. It just takes a little bit of work every single day. You are not alone. You're surrounded by an incredibly supportive course staff, uh, incredibly supportive materials, and other students that all want you to succeed. There's no adversary here other than the material. So spend your time every day, work through the lessons, work on the homework problems, get into a rhythm of doing that, and you will succeed in this class.